Hi, today I demonstrate how you go about creating a first person setup using the IK Plus. For the steps, you need an upper body module, a weapon collision, and of course, editing simulation is optional. So, what you want to create is a first person hands model for your hands that go onto the gun. The next thing you'd like to do is give the weapon two points where the primary and secondary hand would go. And then, after that, you can assign the gun to any pivot that you'd want to rotate to it. For instance, in my case, this is the camera, which would go about rotating like so. After you have that, you probably want to have the hands follow the weapon with the pivot, so you'd go about assigning them also to the rotational pivot. But that wouldn't be enough in a first-person game with many weapons and lots of re reload animations, where each hand would need to be individually assigned to a weapon. And that is not very cost-efficient. So what you'd go about is giving each weapon the two points for the primary and secondary hand positions and you'd go about animating only those and not the different varieties of hands models, weapon models and so on. So, so far the setup is quite simple. You need an upper body module, you need a weapon collision module and that's it. So. What you'd like to do is the following. Say, for instance, when you initially set up the character with the hands, you wouldn't have most of the bones and you need to assign them. So what you do is auto-assign the bones. Of course, some of those might fail. So you need to manually go in and check what is missing and give it, of course, the proper bone. For instance, only the right shoulder failed because naming conventions. Now, the weapon module will warn you that there is no weapon currently, but that wouldn't stop the tool from working. You can swap the tools and weapons that the, pre the, the character is using during gameplay, so that isn't really a problem. There's an API exposed that allows you to easily do that. So, after you've done the bone setup, you'd go in and set up initial rotation values, which I recommend that you do manually. As you can see, for this model, the pivot of orientation is facing backwards, meaning if you set up the character like this, you will end up with some quite weird looking results. So what you'd want to do is, during the setup process, rotate the pivot of the children to match the face of the main character, like so. After this, you click Done, and the test my hands and any model that you're currently setting up will get reset to its original pose. So the next thing would be the to assign the test man some targets, which I've already gone ahead and done, which is the secondary primary hand, and we'd give it a weapon for the weapon collision module. We'd go ahead and select what we want. It's very important that you give it a reaction speed, otherwise the rotational values will not work. For first person, I highly recommend that you set up the chest target mode to hand reach, which will allow the shoulders to go in and out of the pose and, of course, try to reach out for the optimal position on the weapon handle. And with that being done, we will finally add a little script that is not part of the package but it's basically telling the weapon to orientate in the proper direction. So following a target, which we will create right here, call it target, drag it outside and give it a little 
visual indicator with going assign a target and with of course in this case we'd have a weapon pivot not, not exactly the weapon which will act as our sort of mouse look component so one very important thing is that you set up the general weight don't forget that because otherwise nothing will happen on the screen so now if we run the game you'd see the hands holding the weapon in the proper way they have like a, a reload animation plug it out of the magazine plug it back in you know going back to the original pose do other stuff and the hand will follow that you know, without any other animation set and with that being complete I hope you've learned a little about the IK Plus and until next time.